Hello fellow brawlers, I'm Kyra Simon, it is time to brawl, and today we're going to be talking about the stats and the game mechanics from Gene that were revealed from the brawl talk that nobody is telling you about. And why aren't they telling you about it? They just don't have the nerd glasses to do it. One quick disclaimer, the numbers and stats that I'm talking about in today's video may actually be changed before the actual update is released. There were some small tweaks between the Brawl Talk and the actual update with Leon, but I, I have gone through incredible efforts to give you the most in-depth look at Gene that I possibly can. So we're going to start with the more obvious things regarding Gene, and then we will actually get into the more complicated things. And after that, I'll actually compare Gene's stats to every other brawler in the game. Now for this video, what I've done is I've taken this three second clip of uh, that was released on the Brawl Talk. First thing I did was adjust the brightness and contrast to make it so it's a little bit easier to tell exactly what's going on. Oh, and a quick reminder, and that is that Frank actually told us that they would be releasing Gene mid February. And of course, guys, I'll be giving you any information that I can on that as soon as I possibly can. Now, the first thing you'll notice here is that this clip is of a maxed gene. We know this because of the star underneath him signifying the star power. The most obvious stat is his health at 5,040 health at max level. That is the same as Bo and Shelly for a little bit of a comparison. Here is actually how many complete shots it's going to take for every brawler to take Gene out. It's going to take six complete hits for Poco, five for Crow, Jesse, Nita, and Penny, four for Brock, Mortis, and Terra, three complete hits from Barley, Bo, Dynamite, El Primo, Frank, Piper, Ricochet, Shelly, and Spike, and two from Bull, Colt, Daryl, Leon, and Pam. Now, for his super, it's pretty obvious that he throws out this cool little looking fist and it pulls somebody back as like a hook, brings it up close to him so he can actually deal easy and fast damage to them. You may also notice that it deals 420 damage once the brawler actually gets hit by that fist. For reference, that is the same amount as one bullet from Colt's regular attack. And that is oddly close to the same number of damage that other brawlers' star powers actually do. I'm like 90% sure that that's actually his star power, that it deals 420 damage when they when, when brawlers actually get punched in the face by that. Now the width of his super is almost exactly the same as Jesse's or Penny's attack width. This gives you an idea of how difficult it's going to be to actually land a successful super. And as for the range of the super, we can see that it actually goes beyond the range, the range of this circle. Um, I looked really, really closely to see if there was a hard line, and I did not see a hard line, so I'm fairly certain it goes beyond this circle. So I measured that out perfectly, used a little bit of uh, geometry, and uh, came up with a minimum super range of nine and one third tiles long. For reference for that, Penny's and Jesse's main attacks actually reach nine tiles, and a straight shot from Rico's attack reaches nine and two thirds tiles. And if it goes any further than that, then we're looking at a super range of 10 tiles or higher, which is the range of Piper's regular attack. Now, a couple things regarding Gene's attack. We know that in the replay, each attack deals 1400 damage. Um, so the closest brawler to that with a similar amount of damage is Brock at 1540. So think of a slight slightly less damaging attack than Brock's attack, which that's still a pretty good uh, chunk of damage. But the question that no one is answering is how many projectiles actually comes from that? Is it like a shotgun effect or is it a single point or what is it? Well, I have the answer for you guys. Now I've actually pulled this up in my editor so you guys can take a look at this. This is how I look at all of these types of things. He throws out one attack. That's the attack. You can see that actually it's that little flame thing um, right there and it hits the brawler, and then you can see another attack goes out, that flame thing, deals damage a second time, explodes, no, there are no additional projectiles that are spreading out or anything like that, like if a Shelly takes out a brawler uh, with only one of the projectiles in her spread of five projectiles, then the additional projectiles actually spread out, but this does not happen, but take a look at this here, now he actually fires off that third shot, and we get to see a little bit better you can see it coming out, out the other side of that smoke right there. That's right, this little thing right here, that is the attack, that blue thing. If it's on your side, it's a blue. If it's on the enemy side, it would be red. So my guess is that that attack projectile is a similar width as like Penny's attack or Jesse's attack. And we can see that it actually does single point damage because these first couple attacks do not actually go through Jesse. One hits, 
nothing pops out of the back or anything like that. So it is a single point damaging attack and it does not pierce through targets. Now we don't know what Jean's range is going to be, but Jean's attacks are actually very similar to Brock's in regards to burst damage uh, from a distance, but a uh, slightly wider attack and probably more likely a shorter range. With 1400 damage per shot, here is how many shots it would take for Jean to take out every brawler in the game. It would take six hits to take out Bull, El Primo, and Frank. It would take five hits to take out a Pam. It would take four hits to take out Bo, Daryl, Jesse, Leon, Mortis, Nita, Penny, Poco, Shelly, and Terra, and that's really important. Additionally, he can take out the following brawlers in only three hits, and that's going to be Barley, Brock, Colt, Crow, Dynamite, Piper, Ricochet, and Spike. These are the brawlers that he's going to be able to really target using his super, pulling them in, and insta-killing them because they're so close that he can just spam his regular attack. Next up is his attack reload speed. And uh, this was by far the most difficult to stat, stat to uncover for Gene, but it is a very important stat to take a look at because it will determine how good Gene is at lasting in a long fight. Normally when I am timing a brawler's reload speed, I will fire off three shots. For this clip, we have three quick attacks uh, but the clip ends before we can see how long it, for, it takes for it to fully charge. So in order for me to find out the reload speed, I put several brawlers with different reload speeds that I know into the same situation and I recorded them all. I then compared them side by side and then I zoomed in to be the exact size for each of the brawlers. I took way too long doing this, guys. <laughs> and then I compared them to see which brawler was closest, given the amount of time that we actually had with this short clip. The closest match that I could find was Barley at 2.3 seconds for his total reload time from unload and reload with a single shot. And for reference, this is the same as Bo, Penny, Terra, and Spike. Honestly, I probably should have just started with Terra because Gene is the most like Terra, but... Uh, Oh well, we got it. <laughs> this isn't a very fast reload speed. In fact, typically these brawlers, I highly recommend conserving your ammo. Uh, so this is definitely going to be something that you're going to want to think about when you're playing with Gene. Now the last three stats that we have to look at before we can actually compare Gene to every other brawler is going to be movement speed, attack range, and supercharge rate. We have no way of knowing this from the clip that they put in the Brawl Talk, but luckily I have studied the brawler mechanics and stats probably more than anybody else <laughs> out there than the actual game developers. So I think I'm pretty qualified to make a pretty good guess. For moving speed where Gene is able to pull other brawlers to him, I don't really see much of a reason for him to have a faster than normal movement speed. Now regarding supers, uh, Terra is the closest brawler to Gene. So I'm actually gonna be referencing her stats uh, for his attack range and for his super recharge rate. Terra has an attack range of eight tiles long. Her damage is minimal at max range due to the spread, but but she can also deal damage to more, to more than one brawler at a time because it pierces. Jean's attack is relatively weak in comparison to most brawlers, and it's also less damaging than Terra's is up close. Granted, he's able to deal more damage at a distance. As such, I believe that his regular attack range is going to be slightly longer than Terra's and probably closer to Crow's at eight and one thirds tiles. Regarding super charge rate, Terra has arguably the most devastating uh, super in the game where she can literally pull three brawlers in and wipe them all out because her attack pierces and because it can grab them all out from a very large radius. It takes her 13 cards for her to charge up her super, which translates to five full attacks. Gene super most likely will only affect one target like his attack does, which means that his super is far less devastating than Terra's. However, it will still offer a lot of unique control, so I think that it will require more hits to charge up than most brawlers in the game. My best guess is four hits for Gene to charge up his super, which is the same as Brock or Bow. With all that being said, we are finally able to piece together the stats and actually compare them to every other brawler in the game. Mind you, the graph that I'm about to show you is the best representation from my best detective work as well as a couple of educated guesses. So some things may change once he's actually released, but I will absolutely update it for you and give that information to you as soon as I am able to, because I know you guys want it. With all that being said, here is his graph, and as you can see, he looks very well-rounded in the fact that like the majority of his stats or some similarly ranked, but that actually isn't necessarily a good thing <laughs> because as you can see, he doesn't seem incredibly strong in any one category. He's just kind of like, meh, average at best. 
He doesn't have any major weaknesses other than the fact that his stats generally aren't super strong. However, what he lacks in stats, he makes up for a very unique super that can absolutely turn the tide in battle. You may notice that his attack is a little bit weaker than most of the brawlers in the game. Granted, we are talking about max hits. So I actually like to compare Pam for this example, and that is Pam, she deals an insane amount of damage with one full a complete attack, but from a range, she actually doesn't deal very much damage at all. And it takes a long time for her attack to actually unload, and that does impact her ability to burst damage a brawler down. Where Jean is stronger than her is at a distance, and at the fact that he just shoots off one quick attack, and he can shoot off three quick attacks with a very fast unload speed, which allows him to have a really good burst potential. Granted, he doesn't have a very fast reload speed, which means that he is going to have to learn how to conserve his shots and save those shots for when the, when the time is right. Additionally, his HP seems to be his strongest stat in this graph, and that does play a very important role here in the fact that he's going to be able to deal most damage up close while still being able to outrange some of those close range brawlers like Bull or El Primo. And uh, he'll be a thrower's nightmare if he can just uh, get, get close enough to actually land a super hit on them. Anyways, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video and you appreciate <laughs> how long it took me to figure out some of these stats for you. Uh, it was a ton of fun for me to make, really, though. I, I honestly made this video because I was curious about all of this stuff and I was like, I want to know everything that I can figure out about Gene. Um, and then I just happened to share my thoughts with you guys along the journey. So uh, anyways, uh, make sure you let me know what you thought about it in the comment section below and subscribe for future content because I absolutely will be giving you any information that I possibly can as soon as as Supercell lets me. Please, Supercell. For now, guys, this is Kairos time ticking by, and we will see you in Brawl Stars.